Hey guys, it's Ravi Sean or Ishan, however you might know me, and in today's video we are going to be covering how I got a grade 9 in all three of my sciences, including biology, physics and chemistry. As always, this video will have timestamps, so of course you can skip to biology, chemistry, physics, whichever one you're struggling with. I'll start off with biology, then go to chemistry, then go to physics, because biology was my strongest one, I genuinely think... I, took, I aced biology, whereas physics was the one I think I just about scraped my nine. Even though a nine is good, I still I still see it as scraping a nine. But before I start this video, it would mean a lot if you guys could go subscribe. Um, I'm so close to 10,000 followers, it's turned about 10,000 subscribers actually, 10,000 subscribers. So it would mean a lot if we could get to 10k before, let's say before the end of January. It depends when you're watching this, you might be watching this in May. If you are watching in May, then let me know because hello future me, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in May, if that makes sense. But let's start off with biology. Now biology is a very, very content heavy subject and you need to know a lot of information from osmosis, and diffusion, the easy parts to maybe ultrafiltration, the kidneys, the nephrons, which are maybe the hard parts for you. And to understand biology, you really, really need to learn the content, you need to know the content, content inside out, because if there's one step that you don't know then it's like you just won't understand the whole topic for example the kidneys i was struggling with the kidneys ultrafiltration adh all of that i was struggling with so much just because i had so many gaps in my knowledge so it's really really important that you get rid of these gaps you fill them up and there are a few ways you can do this. The first one is using your CGP book. Now CGP books are so so good for GCSE they are underrated maybe for A level they're a bit not that great. The CGP books are amazing if you're if you're a GCSE student in year 9, year 10, year 11. They have everything you need to know just laid in front of you in an easy way. So please use your CGP books. The second way of filling those gaps is by using YouTube free science lessons. I don't know if he does biology. I think he does. But um, watch YouTube videos. Uh, Miss Estrock Biology. Uh, she does amazing biology videos. But please watch YouTube videos um, to catch up. Um, on things you missed. And the last resource which was great for filling gaps was Physics and Maths Tutor. Um, you can use their mind maps, you can use their detailed notes, they basically again have everything for you. The thing is that with a GCSE student like yourself, you're given everything, you're spoon-fed everything, it's now up to you how you use this material and how you use it to get your grade 9 or to get the grade that you deserve. So me making this video won't, won't give you the grade nine, but if you do everything that I'm telling you to do, then I'm sure you'd be able to get the grade nine. The next thing about biology is that the mark schemes in past papers are very, very specific. So um, think about it in three months, four months, whenever you're, go you're going to be sitting your GCSE exam. Now the examiner will have a mark scheme and everything you've written will be marked off the mark scheme, which is quite obvious. But the thing is, on the mark scheme, there are only like very specific keywords that the mark, mark uh, that like that the market is looking for. For example, diffusion, osmosis, high concentration, low concentration. It's not looking for diffusion is when diffusion is when particles are moving from the higher concentration in a room to a lower concentration in the room. And it is a passive process, which means it requires no, not no, which means it requires no energy. It's not looking for that. The examiner is basically looking for um, passive process, maybe one mark, high concentration, low concentration, another two marks, and another mark is the movement of particles, something like that. So um, don't waffle. That's one advice, and please learn the mark scheme. The mark scheme knows best. It has all the answers you need. Like, the thing is, for me, I relate to this quite a lot because translation and transcription, two topics I struggled with a lot. Um, I couldn't memorise the processes inside out. So I looked at the mark scheme and there were literally only four words that you needed to put down into your four marker for transcription translation. And I was like, what the hell? Why have we been trying to learn like these massive paragraphs? Same with, same with mitosis and meiosis. You literally need to know four key words and you've got the four marks. So please, please, please look at the mark scheme because the mark scheme basically knows everything. Now, one way I revised biology was a method called blurting. Blurting is basically when you write down as much stuff as you can remember of a specific topic repeat it uh, and then basically look at what you didn't remember or you use in your textbook write that down repeat the whole process four times until you've learned everything this is what i did with biology because there's so much content to learn sorry i'm talking so so fast um there's so much content to learn and it's it is very very efficient uh, as well as doing past papers let's now move on to chemistry chemistry was my second best science biology was definitely the top chemistry was the second best i think i 
I think I didn't scrape a nine in chemistry. I did pretty well in chemistry. I got like 80, 90% in chemistry. Um, so I was pretty proud of that. Now in chemistry, there were quite a few equations that you need to know. For example, moles equals mass over MR, uh, moles equals concentration, um, concentration and volume thing. There's also um, relative atomic mass. So please learn your equations well, because in some examples, they don't give you them. Um, and you have to memorize them. So please, please learn your equations. And the thing is with chemistry, the the maths, there's like, there's, a, I think there's like quite a bit of maths and there's also quite a bit of theory. With the maths, you just have to practice. It's, it's just practice. Like there's, there's no way you can like revise the maths without practicing. So please practice lots of questions for chemistry, especially if they're maths. Now, again, like for biology, please do past papers. Past papers are literally the saviour. Um, there's so many repeat questions that can come up and the, the amount of repeat questions that can come up is unreal. If you've done every single past paper from 2010 to 2019, even though the specification might have changed a bit, I am certain that you would have come across it practically every single question in your paper. Not exactly the same, worded a bit differently, but the mark scheme is pretty much going to be identical. So please do pass papers because they save you. And I literally do mean they save you. They they are the reason you get from a seven to a nine. Now, finally, I'm gonna talk about physics. To get a grade nine in physics, I scraped a nine in physics. I, I did so bad in my mock. I got like 49% in my mock and in my GCSE, I got 80%. And I, again, I'm gonna say I scraped this because I, I had to work so hard for chem for physics and it's just such a hard science because maths, maths is such a key element in physics and I just don't understand maths. I hate maths um, and it's just the worst. And the amount of equations that you have to learn is unreal. So please learn your equations. I've got, I'm so lucky to have a whiteboard wall next to me so I can write down all of my equations. I don't know if any of you have been on this channel since 2020, but I used to have this whole wall next to me, um, full, full with like notes and everything, um, full of notes and everything. So try, try memorizing the equations and the maths aspect again, practice makes perfect. Um, keep practicing the maths aspect. The theory is also quite a lot in physics, for example, astrophysics, that there's a lot you need to know, Newton's three laws, um, what else can I remember from physics? Uh, radioactivity, atomic structure, there's a lot to remember and there's a lot of maths. So please do pass papers again. Um, for the theory aspect of physics, I did do quite a bit of blurting. I did blurting on my computer or blurting on my paper, um, but you have to revise the maths because that's so important. Um, in my mocks, I didn't. All I did was revise for the theory and I completely effed up the exam because like in the exam, like 50, 60 percent of was was maths and the rest was theory. So many equations that I just didn't learn so much. It was just like uh, not a great, not a great uh, exam for me. But then I improved um, from my mocks to, G to the GCSEs. I learned all my equations. I did so much practice on the maths aspect and I was rewarded a nine, thankfully. Um, but now to go over all of the information, like a quick summary, you need to do past papers. Just do past papers for every single science and you will get a nine. If you do it, if you do the past papers, I can tell you that if you've done every single past papers from 2010 to 2021, I guarantee you that you can get a nine. It's, 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 it's not as hard as you think because I used to do around two papers a day. But the thing is, I started off doing papers and it took me around two hours to complete. It was hard doing it. But then as, as I did all of the papers, as I did like uh, as I, after like two, three months, I was able to complete a biology paper in around 25 minutes, a chemistry one in around 30 minutes and a physics one in around 35 minutes. And they're usually two hour long papers for me. So just do as many past papers as you can because you just you just subconsciously end up memorizing the answers and you it's like it's literally just copy and paste from your brain from the mark scheme to the brain to, to your brain to your paper just it's literally copying and pasting the mark scheme in, in some ways um but yeah past papers and blurting are the main main ways you can get a grade nine in sciences but yeah have a great day guys thank you so much for watching this video if you guys haven't please 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 go subscribe to my youtube channel um, and my Instagram. Um, but yeah, have a great day, guys. See you in my next upload, which will hopefully be next week.